Yo, you people out there in YouTube, man. Yep. I'm back again. At this place here. You can see. Yep. Old Airport Road Food Centre. So let's get in there and let's see what we can find to eat. New things. Things that we tried earlier. So let me repeat again. We are at the Old Airport Road Food Centre. Yes, the food centre. And we're going to try some new food. Something we haven't tried before at this place where we try lots and lots of delicious good food Singaporean food, hawker food, street food delicious food and I guess we should go in to this place and this place is called Chi Chiu Rong Ban Mian Seafood Soup and here as per what they say on the um, signboard they sell ban mian and seafood soup and so what do they sell well if you look at their menu they actually sell different types of chinese traditional soups uh, misua in red wine and also handmade noodles so here are just some of the soups they sell and here the handmade noodles and also seafood soup but, uh, tom yum too. So these are the prices and the different types of soup and noodles they sell. So I decided to drop by this store and order their ban mian or their homemade handmade noodles which cost me uh, $4.50. This is just not your normal uh, ban mian. This is your sliced fish ban mian. So they actually have a sliced fish that they put inside this dish. And also, lots and lots of deep fried uh, anchovies, or in this part of the world they call it ikan bilis. Fish slices as you can see there, noodles, some vegetables, some deep fried shallots, some minced meat. And I must say, lots and lots of ingredients packed full of ingredients and it does look good I must say visually very very appetizing but we are here to find out whether it tastes good or not But just let's go in and see what type of ingredients they give us. Okay, like this is the ikan bilis or anchovies, the sliced fish, and on top there is the deep fried shallots, then you have the noodles. Flour noodles together with some cut green vegetables, leafy vegetables, and looks like some minced meat. And there should be an egg in here somewhere. So after everything is cooked, they will crack an egg open and just drop it inside. And let the residue heat from the soup cook the egg. So I'm ready to get started. But first thing I should do is try the soup. But look at that noodles is Ooh. hot oh I seem to be enjoying the soup the soup here is a clear soup with a nice uh, minced meat flavor to the soup and somehow it tastes thick like a uh, Feeling and then look at the noodles. I'm gonna have some noodles. Oh, yeah, very, very slurpy noodles. The noodles, I, mm, 
I quite like the noodles. The noodles is nice and chewy. Just the right texture. I really like this texture. But the taste of the noodles is slightly flour floury. Not like flour, but it's a bit of flour taste to it. A bit of a strong flour taste to it. But noodles here is extremely hot. And there is so much ingredient. Look at that. Sliced fish, minced meat, uh, green cut vegetables, cut green vegetables. Uh, Look at that. I'm definitely, definitely enjoying this. And if you let the ingredients and the noodles cook into the soup for a while, the flavors of all the ingredients will start to incorporate into the soup and becomes thicker. So what you really taste, the flavors will be stronger and nicer. So earlier it was a nice uh, clear soup. It's still clear, but you can really taste more of the minced meat flavor, the fried shallots, the ikan bilis or the fried anchovies. And then the, these flavors starts to get thicker, starts to intensify, intensify in the soup, and the soup is quite good. And because there's so much uh, ingredients in here. It is very very filling, and the soup is also still a bit starchy. But totally totally satisfying. And I think this store here does make a very very good bowl of uh, ban mian. Definitely very satisfying, very um, homey. once you start you can't stop drinking the soup it's just so good extremely extremely filling let me try to get every single ingredient into this uh, spoon full of food oh that's really good that hits the spot Mm. 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 And so this brings us to the end of our adventure here today at this place here, Old Airport Road Food Centre. We are at the car park behind here. And we're finished eating and we are going home. So as per usual, you know what you should do. Like, share and subscribe. Support me on Patreon if you can or if you can drop me some money at PayPal, the links are in the description down below. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is watch more videos, my old videos, my new videos, all my videos, and join me for my next adventure. I will see you around. Bye-bye.